Hey everybody and welcome to Technology and Toys and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a bootable macOS 10.14 Mojave install USB to install on any Mac that supports the new latest version of macOS. Now some of you may be asking why would I need that when I can just download it and install it on those computers and while you do have a valid point some people have computers that they don't necessarily connect to the internet. My Mac Pro 1.1 is a perfect example of that so when I was updating it from 10.4 to 10.7 I couldn't just download it from the internet. I had to install it from a disk that I had to create myself. So if you're in that situation where you have a newer Mac that you don't connect to the internet or can't connect to the internet because your wireless hardware is spotty, I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. Now, first of all, you're gonna wanna download macOS Mojave. So you go to the app store and then you just search Mojave and it will come up as macOS Mojave and you're gonna wanna click get to download it. It'll open in system preferences under software update if you have a Mac that's already on Mojave or it'll download to your Mac from the App Store if you have something earlier. I already have it downloaded to speed up this video because this did take about 15 minutes for me. So it's already here. Once you download it, it will open. Just close it, close everything else. You don't need it. You're gonna wanna insert a flash drive that is eight gigabytes minimum. You can see I have one that is eight gigabytes here. I do want to caution you though. If you want this to go quickly, use USB 3.0 and above. This one that I'm using is USB 2.0. When I did it earlier this morning to test to make sure I had everything right, this took about 40 minutes. So I'm going to speed this up for you guys so that way you don't have to sit here and lose interest for 40 minutes. But if you are short on time and you need this to be done quickly, use a USB 3.0 flash drive if at all possible. Once you have it inserted, you're gonna wanna open up terminal and then once you have terminal open you're going to want to copy and paste the command line that is in the description it is sudo yes it's pronounced sudo super user do slash applications slash install backslash mac os backslash mojave dot app slash contents slash resources slash create install media dash dash volume slash volumes slash my volume or untitled or whatever the name of your flash drive is. I used my volume here because I have a lot of drives that are named Untitle and I didn't want to mix them up. So this last part right here can be whatever your flash drive's name is and it has to be whatever your flash drive's name is. In order for this to work, this has to match this. And once you type that out or copy and paste, you're gonna hit enter. It's gonna ask you for your admin password. Once you type that out, press enter. It's gonna say ready to start. To continue, we need to erase the volume at slash volumes slash my volume. If you wish to continue, type Y, then press return. This will delete all the data on your flash drive. So if you have important files, copy those off and then run this command. I'm gonna type Y and then hit enter. It's gonna erase the disk and format it and it will do everything for you. I'm going to speed this up now because this takes four ever. With my flash drive and my system, this takes forever. So I'm going to speed this up for you guys in the meantime. Just kind of sit for 10 seconds and then I'll come back. And once it finishes copying all the OS files to your flash drive, it'll make the disk bootable, it'll copy boot files, and it'll say install media now available at slash volumes slash install macOS Mojave. It will rename the drive for you and you're done. All you gotta do is mouse over to it or whatever you have, click eject, and it ejects. You unplug it from your machine, go plug it into whatever Mac you need to update. When you restart the Mac, hold option on boot and keep holding option until it shows up with your internal storage device and then the flash drive will also show up as install macOS Mojave. Click on that and it will load the installer, install it on whatever drive you want to install it on, and you're set to go. So guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it helpful and useful. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications and bell icons so that way you don't miss my next tutorial, my next unboxing, review, whatever video I post next. This has been Jake with Technology and Toys, and until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.